So here we are in a concept stage in this tutorial. Uh, what you see here on the screen is the uh, concept sketch for this ship that we're going to create. This was the only sketch that I had to work with at this point. Uh, it was done uh, for for this purpose for by one of my friends, and his name is Nanko Pantovic, who is a really talented artist, currently working in the uh, game industry. I have asked him to help me out with this with this part since my drawing skills were are not so great. So uh, he spent one day doing this based on my reference collection that I created, and. Um, uh, basic of things that I like and I would like to see in, in the, the actual concept. Uh, since he had, he had only, uh, well, basically one some you know short spare time to do it to do and to take care of this, I had no other reference of um, how the part some parts of those ships are going to look like, and uh, this um, three quarter view is difficult to work with. So I'm going to create this silhouette, basically what you're seeing here in, um, in Photoshop. Uh, that I'm going to use for the further modeling. Uh, this this concept, uh, the concepting part inside of the Photoshop, basically creating this silhouette, I picked up from, uh, well basically it was the um, uh, Feng Zhu, if I remember correctly, that I was seeing him, uh, um, his work, uh, creating I think some of the ships or maybe some creatures or something like that. And I uh, really like this process, I mean this could be done in many diff different ways I guess. One of the one of the ways is basically using a couple of different brushes, and just uh, well, basically I'm I'm using you know dual screens on, uh, on a separate screen. I'm having my three quarter view, and based on that, I'm um, kind of imagining basically how this ship would look like. Uh, we look at from the side and uh, and the front. Uh, the, the, this gives you well some amount of freedom. Uh, depending where you work and how you work and uh, you know how much of the reference material you have if if it, if it's an only one sketch that you're having i mean gives you gives you a certain amount of freedom to you know change certain shapes and, uh, and you know really kind of put your imagination at work and then you know create different types of um, different types of shapes and whatnot what i'm creating here is um, black and white well, silhouette uh, for the ship, um, side view, side profile. Uh, just because, uh, like I said, in three-quarter view, I don't particularly see, I can imagine, basically, like I said, putting your imagination at work and uh, imagine how the ship would look like uh, based on what you already, you know, see. Uh, this is a very simple process. Uh, doesn't have to be 100% correct. Um, th this is very interesting because you know, this is how your human mind works. Um, you grab onto the shape or the certain silhouette. It can be, you know, applied to the creatures and uh, hard surface models and whatnot. If you have this uh, this uh, silhouette locked in your mind, it's much easier later on to, uh, you know, apply that same thing and it follows you constantly through the modeling process and cycle. So uh, here I'm going to create a couple of different types of uh, profiles. Uh, the first one is uh, it's a base one, just you know kind of see the proportions on different parts of the ships of the ship and then the second one I'm gonna do the um, slight different variation of that same same thing. Uh, I'm gonna you know collect really uh, the, the best and worst in the same, same place and then from there I'm just gonna cut off uh, certain things. Uh, this is like uh, uh, well this process uh, it's either or actually it's both, it's an uh, uh, additive process and, um, uh, and it's uh, uh, the leading process and the same, you know, that doesn't matter like which way you go, you can add certain parts, you can delete certain parts and so basically it's just a silhouette, nothing, you don't, you don't have to um, commit to anything at this point, you're just, um, you're drawing, you're experimenting and see what you like really, because that's going to help you later on uh, when, you're, when you're modeling. Uh, of course, during the modeling uh, stage, uh, you can you know do the certain changes and whatnot. But uh, the, the silhouette is gonna be more or less the same. I'm struggling with this at this point. Like I'm kind of liking this first part. Uh, it's simple enough, yet uh, it gives you well, later on it gives you options of uh, you know adding different layers of different stuff on top of that. Um, 
one thing I noticed about the uh, the concept, the original concept done by Danko Pantovic is that the the very the front part there's a couple of different uh, I don't know they're like pipes or, or something like that that I don't necessarily like that much. Initially I liked it a lot, but then then I thought about it like really from the functional point of view that I, I'm not sure actually how I'm gonna incorporate that in the actual 3D 3D model. So um, here I mean this takes some time. I mean like really trial and error. There's there's no certain there's no rules of the thumb. There's nothing that you can really follow, which is your you know imagination and. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of, you know, I guess, errors and things that you don't like, that you, things that you like at a certain point, and then you can save this and come back to it later, and, uh, you know, you're going to either like it or you're going to hate it, so um, you're going to change this completely. I didn't want to spend too much time on this, and you shouldn't either, I guess, uh, depending on your, you know, time span that you're having, uh, you know, deadlines in the industry are uh, quite critical. So uh, maybe for something like this, uh, well, certainly if you if you're the one one guy or one dude band kind of uh, that's doing everything, either the you know concepting and I, you know creating the idea, initial idea and concepting, and then modeling and everything else, then well you know it's uh, it's up to you how much time you actually have. You're um, deciding your own well not really deciding but uh, managing your own deadlines. So maybe you don't have that much of the time spend this uh, to spend with this so uh, maybe half an hour at most uh, just to lock this initial initial uh, silhouette for the later stage so here I'm uh, really like you can see this is the third variation of uh, the initial initial uh, silhouette um, kind of jumping back back and forth between different uh, different parts of the ship um, trying to imagine what the, the back side would look like is it really just that kind of cut line straight down to the bottom and nothing else or maybe it has some kind of engines in the back or where those engines are gonna be or maybe some spinners and um, I don't know really something that maybe doesn't even have any any kind of uh, purpose it just looks nice um, again I'm just uh, showing you what I'm dealing with here uh, which parts I'm trying to imagine which part is going to go where? Um, I was adding a lot of parts, basically just playing with the black color. Now uh, with the white color, you can well you can either use the uh, the brush or the lead brush, depending. Well, it doesn't matter. And kind of just trying to imagine where 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 the certain parts are going to go. Here I'm just uh, I'm having these uh, kind of rotors on the side. I'm um, trying to imagine where it will go and how they will work. I mean, th this is an aesthetic kind of question, and at the same time, it's a functional question as well because uh, you just don't want to have uh, only like ship that it's looking cool, which is of course it's important, but as well has to have function. Each each part has to have some kind of fun function that is related to the kind of real world. Even though this ship kind of uh, represents something that. Uh, Oh here, here, the, here. There's the things that actually I, uh, I was trying to incorporate here from our initial, uh, initial concept. Uh, these kind of bars or, 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 or stripes or whatever they're supposed to be. Um, so in my mind, uh, I imagine that this, this should be kind of, uh, I don't know, like balancing, uh, whatever things. You know, when the, when the, the ship is uh, not necessarily flying but staying in one place. Uh, so uh, this should keep him in, you know, in balance. It's not like falling down or going left and right, uncontrollably. So this is, this is something that I, uh, I was trying to incorporate. I didn't like it so much, so I'm gonna revisit that. Um, yeah, one one thing about this ship is that um, I got inspired uh, uh, by the uh, I think it was the uh three musketeers uh 2010 11 edition i guess i like the original ones i guess better but this you know it's a upgraded version so uh, uh the one thing that i liked here was really the um uh, uh this pirate uh, ship airship thingy whatever um originally i was i was imagining that it, i'm going to create the same kind of type of ship which is basically uh very a uh, sea ship uh, and then it's gonna have this kind of um, what is that called a zeppelin yes attached on its top so it's um, 
as well going underwater and uh, uh, floating underwater and flying when, when needed. And so it was kind of interesting, it's an interesting concept, but uh, then after a while, you know, I really wanted, I got this uh, second idea where I'm going to incorporate this kind of, uh, I guess, really old technology, if you would like, you know, really kind of uh, old-looking Zeppelin on top, while incorporating a little bit newer, kind of futuristic type thing, shape uh, underneath. So, you know, having a little bit of both of two different worlds as well, so it's not all unique and really just spacey and uh, sci-fi at the same time. Um, so here I guess I'm trying to, you know, attack the uh, the front kind of um, front view uh, profile for, for the ship and see uh, and imagine at the same time how these things would look like more or less. Uh, like I said, I'm not committing to anything. Um, this is just a kind of rough guideline on, uh, on how things could look like so I can really go back to this and be like, oh, okay, so these are the, uh, uh, the, the these ports and this is this port and maybe the engine goes here and this is the cabin and uh, things like that. One thing that actually I'm um, pretty sure I'm, I'm not, I didn't uh, add any reference, size, size reference to this. I usually add small, you know, kind of... Uh, dude next to the ship so you can see how big it is you know in, uh, in correlation to the whatever human beings or whatever so uh, in this case i know in my mind that this ship is not going to be too big uh, uh this is by no means uh like fighter ship or anything like that it's more like a heavy lifting carrier kind of type thing that it's uh, just you know transferring things from one place to another and it's going to carry the most like two persons at the time one to two to the most, I guess. Um, yeah, I would really like to see uh, you guys uh, using the same technique and uh, you know um, applying it to your own, uh, incorporating its own own ideas, and see what you can come up with. Uh, you're just the concepting stage, or well, really going from the from the very beginning to the very end to so rendering and uh, compositing the complete complete image really like to see what you can create, hopefully something better than me. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not bad, uh, by no means. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm happy what it turned out in the end. But it always could be better, I guess, right? So here I'm uh, blocking up the uh, engine box or intakes from the, from the side. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to picture this thing, uh, if this could really fly in the end. I mean, why not? It's not that complicated. It's just, some people ask me when they see the concept in the actual f uh, final re result, it was like, okay, I understand the ship part, like, okay, it has the uh, kind of rotors or whatever, and it can fly itself, but uh, what's with the, uh, what, with, what's with the Zeppelin thing on the top? Well, at the first I was like, <laughs> uh, kind of uh, asking myself the same question, but then I realized, well, you know, it could be a, like nowadays, you have the, um, the cars that are running both of the uh, like electric car, electric, electric cars, and as well the um, on gas. So uh, if you're running out of the, uh, which uh, in my opinion, it's really good, great, you know, option to have. You don't have to, you know, if you only have an electric car and you run up the electricity, and uh, as far as I know, at least in Finland, there is not much like charging places or stations around. So. Uh, if you wouldn't have the uh, the gas uh, part in your car as well as a backup, you know, at least, you know, a couple of liters inside, then you'll be stuck in the middle of the road. So the, the, uh, this same idea was applied to this, you know, like, uh, I don't know on, on what kind of uh, fuel this thing was, um, you know, it's, uh, it's flying on, but uh, after a while, if, uh, you know, that thing runs out, you can really switch to the uh, Zeppelin thing, you just kind of glide around, like, as a glider ship thingy because it's not about the speed, it's really economy and uh, it has a functionality because this thing has to, you know, carry heavy lift you know, from one place to another and probably like long distances so uh, this 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 kind of Zeppelin thing on top, you know, it's really just uh, um, you know, it's a backup kind of type of thing and it looks cool definitely, so, you know, why not uh, here uh, I changed a little bit, like actually the, this is the part when I uh, kind of struck me that this part could be, you know, a little bit you know, different than the original concept. Um, 
these kind of side things, uh, elevation or uh, balancing elevation thingies, whatever, I don't know how I'm going to call them, yet, um, uh, the, and at the same time I'm trying to find out the way how they're going to be attached to the main body of the, of the ship, I'm picturing they're not going to be, um, uh, they're going to be like these small pipes or metal kind of type of things that are going to be connecting these parts together. Um, I want them to look a little bit like a mosquito uh, legs or something like that, at least from the front side. And, uh, and when you look at the mosquito, it's really kind of fragile thing. So I, this part I wanted to look like functional, yet uh, not so you know really strong and uh, bulky. At the same time, it gives it a little bit of um, different shape and size. Here are the rudders on the sides as well. Um, at this point, I have no idea. I'm gonna connect them to the the body. Um, the, the necessary you don't have to find a way when you're doing this kind of uh, still thing thingy. Uh, if you uh, this uh, this goes in the category of uh, happy accidents, I guess. Uh, when you you know stroke a line and you you see something that you like and be like, oh okay, see uh, this could actually work. Uh, if you're a three D modeler. Um, uh, dealing with uh, or doing different types of modeling and different 3D packages you can really easily um, imagine these things in uh, like 2D and 3D in the same time uh, sometimes it's difficult sometimes it's not but uh, it gives you gives you certain options I guess